I wanted to do a quick little video here of uh, this picture frame slash uh, world sunlight time clock type thing that I built um, for grandmother as a uh, as as a as a Christmas present. Uh, about a month back, uh, mom was talking to grandmother, and uh, grandmother mentioned that she wanted something that looks kind of like this, which would show the the nighttime and the daytime. You can see kind of there's this this curve here of of, of nighttime and and daylight. Whereas on this side of the world it's dark and this side of the world it's light. And uh, it's also, you can see there's some cloud overlays and everything on there. And uh, grandmother, I guess, um, had wa has wanted one of these for a while, but uh, she, um, I, I, I guess we were, mom was looking online and they're multiple thousands of, of dollars because they're all done mechanically and they're all very sophisticated. Um, and so grandmother said you know maybe if you could do it for for less than a few thousand dollars she would really be interested so I thought maybe I would be able to do this uh, in software with a computer and a monitor instead of trying to do it all mechanically and this is what I came up with so you can see we've got a picture frame here um, that I built it's all out of wood and uh, it, it's got a computer monitor uh, that I took apart and put it in here and it's running some custom software that uh, shows that calculates the the nighttime and the daytime uh, sunlight curve uh, and, and then downloads daily uh, cloud imagery to overlay on top of that. So I'm going to just show you the the back here. So this is this is pretty much what everything looks like on the back end on the, or on the back side here and. Uh, uh, you'll notice there's no cover on it. I haven't really bothered with the cover because I figure it's going to be hanging on the wall, so it really doesn't need that. But um, the first thing you should probably notice is this guy over here, which is the uh, Raspberry Pi, and uh, it's actually a very, very tiny computer, about a little bit larger than the size of a credit card, and uh, this pretty much powers the whole thing. So. This has an SD card, like a regular SD card you find in your camera. This is a 5 volt uh, USB power supply, which comes back to here, and actually it's just this brick right here. Um, we've got HDMI input, which, or sorry, HDMI output, which is going all the way over here and is going into the monitor. And we've got USB uh, Wi Fi, um, which is this adapter here with, an, with the antenna on here, which is going to connect to the network. And then a few other things. Uh, there's another video here and an audio here, which I'm not using, so I kind of drilled out holes in the in the in the case to uh, to hold it in place. And this thing is all being held together using some pegs and some wood that I kind of uh, rigged up so that it's that it's um, held together. So if we go over here, you'll notice that we've got a single power cable coming into here uh, from the wall. All the way into here, I drilled out a, a half of a hole here so that um, when it's up against the wall, it'll be able to sit flush. And this comes in and it splits off in two directions. One, it goes to this uh, Christmas light cable. Uh, this is actually from, from Christmas lights that I that I uh, that I attached in with uh, these these uh, uh, wire nuts. And then it also goes to power for the monitor. So this comes off, goes in two directions. One uh, to the Christmas tree light, which goes to the five volt power supply, which goes into the Raspberry Pi. And uh, the other goes directly into the monitor, which of course has its own power supply. So um, one other thing here, you'll notice that uh, most monitors actually have um, some settings, uh, power, uh, so you can turn them on and off, and then they've got uh, the ability to change the contrast and the brightness and things like that. And that was all done using this board right here. Um, I figured once I set up the uh, brightness and everything, that wasn't something that we'd really need to be able to change uh, too frequently. So I pretty much just took this whole board off. It's actually just not plugged into anything. It's just sitting here taped on, so, so we have it. You can use it if you need to. But um, I figured the most important part was the ability to uh, the ability to be able to power it on and power it off. So if you go back over here, you'll see this is this little uh, white connector here, um, and this used to plug in to this guy right here. But after probing it um, with a voltmeter, uh, I figured out that this actually this power button here. Um, it's simply just uh, connecting the first and the fourth pin, so the ground pin and, and the fourth pin here. So what I did is I created my own little uh, connector using um, some stuff that I took off of a, a, off of an old motherboard, and it actually connects the first and the fourth pin. It goes along this wire here uh, and goes to the switch that I put here, and so you'll notice that there's this switch right on the side. And so um, that's pretty much it for the whole thing. Uh, 
you'll notice that I'm, I've got the monitor held in place by some uh, some pegs or some some, some dowels that effectively that I cut up with holes drilled in the side so uh, they can't they can't go anywhere same thing over here on this side and I've got a couple uh, screw hooks or to be able to hang it on the wall I have some wire here that I'm going to use uh, at grandmother's house this is 100 pound um, hanging wire so that should that should be fine so once I put this back up again you'll see there's the, the same view we were looking at before with the daylight and, and the uh, nightlight you're actually seeing it refresh right now um, because every 10 minutes it, it, it recalculates uh, what what that image looks like and, and it redraws it and uh, if I go over here to that button that I was talking about this power button if I press it you'll notice it goes off and if I press it again it goes on and so we're going to have the Acer warm up message and then obviously it goes right into that. So um, when it's off actually what it's turning off is the monitor not the not the computer so the monitor obviously goes off the computer never uh, goes off but because it's such a low power system I actually uh, I actually checked this with, a, with, with what's called a kilowatt it's this guy right here um, when you plug this in and with with the power on with the monitor on uh, and and the Raspberry Pi on it draws about 30 watts of power uh, with the monitor off and just the Raspberry Pi on as what would happen if you were just clicking the uh, the power switch that I put on the side it only draws about four watts of power so in the in the quote unquote off mode it's really it is still drawing power but it's a very very small amount of power and even in the on mode it's really not really not too much power um, Less power, obviously, about half as much power as a 60 watt light bulb, being that it's 30 watts. So um, that's pretty much it for this. But this has uh, one extra little kind of neat trick um, in that it doesn't just do the world sunlight view um, because I figured that would be kind of boring if it only did one thing. So if I go on over here to my iPad and I unlock my iPad you'll notice that I'm running an app here um, called frame settings and it's got two different options on there one is world sunlight view and the other is slideshow view now slideshow view pretty much puts it into a view like any other digital picture frame except that it's a very very large digital picture frame as opposed to uh, like the the 8 inch or the 4 inch frames that you can get uh, at the store so if I just go ahead and click on World sunlight view here. I get a couple more options, and you'll see uh, there's a drop down for how many seconds I want it to be. But we'll leave it right here at 10 seconds. And I'm gonna back up a little bit here so you can see both thing things. And I'm gonna hit submit. And you'll notice that over here on the frame, we are now looking at images. And so these images are images that are actually being pulled down from Dropbox. Uh, there's a folder on Dropbox that, that that's shared out and every 10 seconds it's going to uh, move on to the next image pulling down from that folder and so the folder on Dropbox that I'm that I'm looking at uh, is checked about every minute to see if there's any new images that need to come down or uh, if there's any images that that were deleted and so then they're deleted from the slideshow and once that happens um, this is updated so uh, constantly I'm rendering the daylight time image uh, the sunlight image and then also I'm checking Dropbox to see if uh, there are any new images which which are then updated and pushed down onto the onto the picture frame and I can show you what that looks like over here on my computer if you can see we'll uh, go into this view here and we'll make it a little larger all right so this is this is uh, in Dropbox here if I if I look at the uh, the path we've got Dropbox and I've got a folder called grandmother frame and so really uh, any image that gets put into this folder will then show up on the uh, the picture frame so I can just go ahead and preview one of these images all right and uh, any another one here and if I wanted to I could literally just drag any new image onto this frame or I could delete any image from the frame and uh, it, or from, from this folder and it would the same uh, effect would happen on the on the frame as, as these guys are automatically wirelessly kept in sync um, using some custom software that I wrote so but you'll notice that pretty much it's just it's just going through picture uh, after picture after picture and uh, that's pretty much it so I'm gonna go back here to the frame settings app and just switch it over to the world sunlight view again and you'll notice that there it is so um, 
that's pretty much it. Uh, obviously, this could do a whole lot more. Uh, the, the, right now, we only have pretty much two modes, just the, uh, the world sunlight view mode and the slideshow view mode. But, but in theory, we could have a whole bunch of different kinds of modes that would do all kinds of uh, different things like um, a five-day forecast, potentially. You could do things like a stock ticker or, or, or really anything, a Twitter feed, um, a Facebook feed, or, or anything else uh, that you might want to be able to display on a screen. So, But right now I've got these two options and uh, this is what I will be giving to grandmother uh, for Christmas, for her for Christmas this year. So alright, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.